This is an easy repair to be made, but it's also a very common problem. Let me tell you guys what I'm talking about. So there's been countless times where I go to properties and they have units that look like this. Or like this. All right, you guys, so if your uh, thermistor or your sensor is in the evaporator coil like this, what that does is it's gonna read the temperature from the evaporator coil instead of reading the return air temperature. Or if your sensor is on the drain pan like that, what that is gonna be doing is gonna be reading the temperature of the water. So keep in mind that the evaporator uh, is creating condensation and that water is way cooler than the air, than the return air that's coming into the unit. All right, so uh, just make sure that your thermistor is just set in the right position where it can read the temperature of the return air uh, or not, that unit is not gonna come on because it's just reading the temperature of wherever that sensor is either inserted or if it's in the drain pan, it's gonna be reading the temperature of the uh, uh, water. Uh, so no matter how low you set that uh, unit to, it's not gonna come on because that sensor is reading, uh, instead of reading the return air, it's reading either the coil or the water. All right, everybody, so that's going to do it for this one. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments uh, in the section below, and I will get to them as soon as I can. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and uh, see you guys on the next one.